Hello everyone, we are once again back with a short video related to your online shopping management system. So in the previous video we discussed about something about a class diagram of your online shopping management. But in this video we are going to discuss about use case diagram. Okay, so but before discussing that we will just have a brief introduction related to uh, what do you mean by use case, what are the different components we do have in that and what are the relationships we are going to use in it. Later we will enter into this online shopping management system and we will perform the work. Okay. So this is a previous diagram of your class diagram that I have explained in your previous video, right? So let's move directly. So coming to the class definition. So your use case, I have given a small definition. It's not a standard definition, but if people can go through it, uh, I'll just provide you the abstract of this particular definition. What is saying exactly is uh, use case is nothing but uh, whatever the interaction that takes place between an actor and the use case. Okay, or you can say that whatever the interaction that takes place between the user and the system that is what represented using this use case okay so for example actor and your system i mean uh, user and system in the sense for example uh, if you take a real example uh, related to your personal computer you wanted to access personal computer you just want to so what are the different uh, access or you can you wanted to use your personal computer so what are the different steps you are going to use like you know you're switching on the system you are clicking on the windows you are opening some app and within that app you're performing some operation you're saving it you're closing it all these things comes under use case means how you are interacting with the system in order to do some one particular action same way coming to the actor here actor is nothing but a user here user means we as a personal what who is interacting with the system that is represented okay so basically there are three components that we are going to use here something called actor use case relationships uh, coming to the actor is represented with this Hmm, you can see here I have represented a symbol. This symbol is used for representing the actor. So ourselves we are going to represent in a format of this. And coming to use case means what are the different operations or different kind of functions you people are applying with used with to that particular system, or what are the function that are present within that particular system that you are going to interact with that is represented using use case and you can see it is a oval symbol that is what we are going to use it and what are the relationships that we can use here is the we actually have only one relationship what we generally represent in use case that is association okay and it is a solid line that is represented and remember that we are going to use binary association in this and we can use multiplicity for this okay oh sorry multiplicity we can multiplicity can be used in this multiplicity i think you people are very well aware that is nothing but representing uh, uh, relationship like you know one to one one to many many to one that relations of what are actually represented using uh, in this particular association okay apart from that we do have two more uh, things relations you can call about something called extend and include okay extend and include these these are very uh, frequently being used in associations when you are extending it okay when you're extending one use case so then we are going to or we are going deep into the problems or into the problem or uh, deep representation of a problem then we are going to use this extend and include relationships okay so extend in the sense is nothing but like uh, I'll, I'll just explain you example related to include for example uh, you are interacting with your system right now suddenly after some time you just wanted to take a break and when you wanted to take a break what are you people are going to do is you just uh, maybe mm, some people might be switching off the laptops uh, some people might uh, use a sleep mode some people might be using hibernate mode right so what are the different how you people are interacting that particular buttons simply uh, in, in short if I talk about uh, you will be clicking on the windows right so windows button on your laptop and automatically you will get some set of icons there and within that you will be having some option called shutdown depending upon the various operating systems so shutdown option and uh, you will be having a small arrow here so when you click on that you will get these options right so actually for all these options you have a single button right so when you're clicking on that particular button what happens you're getting all these options so that button is included so that button is what we call it as use case and within that use case it includes several different options means apart from shutting your system off you have different options like sleep mode you have hibernate you have uh, some other okay so that is what comes under include coming to extend here what it means is uh, like uh, it contains more information so that information you cannot represent in a single use case in order to represent that you people will be using something called as extend and when and you can see that in both the cases you people are going to use a dashed line with the open arrowhead 
this is what we call it as dashed line with the open arrow head and on top of that we'll be having a stereotype we'll be including like this include and extend okay so this is what how we are going to represent it and remember that what are the uh, relationship we are going to use is association relationship and that is also a binary association relationship we are going to use it okay let's uh, enter into the diagrammatic part so this is the top level view of this is a top level view of your uh, online management system okay why i'm talking about top level means as i told you that sometimes within a use case we cannot represent each and every use case in that case we need to extend it so here this is an abstract in the other words what we can say is it's an abstract use case okay so abstract or top level so it, it actually shows you the outer layer of it inner layer we have still more use cases uh, in between each use case that is not represented yet i'll show you in the next diagram so that you can have a clear understanding of it but first let me explain you this uh, this particular thing so if you look at here these are the actors what do you people do have and i told you that interaction between the cust actor and the use case will be based on association you can see there is only a one uh, relation that we have used here something called as association and we also used something called as include okay include relationship is also been used now if you look at here first i'll talk about this he is the web customer I, I think you people know about web customer web customer is a generalized term that has been used here now this web customer can be of two types either it can be a registered customer or it can be a new customer means like you know someone don't have account to that particular app or a uh, new website which you wanted to log um, use it so in that case what happens he becomes a new customer and whereas coming to register means he is the one who is already having an account so both comes under web customer now these will be interacting with this so now these are the use cases what we have for online shopping like we can use uh, view items make purchase check out client register view items uh, is nothing but uh, since we are talking about online shopping management so we are actually assessing a, a shopping uh, website so definitely it will have so many different type of items uh, so that is what we are trying to assess it okay so we have so a list of uh, items within that and we are just viewing it in okay and in order to view that items they should be authenticated by the service means which website you people are assessing it he should provide you a authorization to use it okay for that purpose it's general represented some people usually provide for example um, if you open a normal uh, websites like uh, flipkart and uh, amazon you can directly access it but if you are trying to open one uh, ieee paper okay just you wanted to access it that ieee paper you want to buy it ieee paper so when you wanted to access that they will not allow you people to use or see the different list they'll ask you to first log in and after that only they'll give access to that particular papers for that purpose we can use like this okay and same way make purchase so after viewing that you may be like to purchase that item and finally what you're going to do is check out and click client register is nothing but if you're, you're a new customer you wanted to register it for that you're asking so for this also we require authentication okay now identity providers the one view items and check out when you're checking out you'll perform different operations so that operations should be uh, identified by that particular provider whether you are a genuine person or not whether you're doing it genuinely or not whether you're a hacker all that information should be taken care by this particular thing and finally when you're paying some amount uh, for the item you're going to purchase you people have to have uh, interaction with the credit payment service uh, like or you have something called paypal both are almost same amount but uh, this credit payment service is related to uh, all the credit card transactions paypal is entirely different uh, it's related like you know online uh, like it's just like an app that is what represented okay now if you look at here you are not provided any information again view items view items actually has many different options within that what kind of options we do have that we are not representing because this is an abstract of it this is what we call top level now what we are going to do is we are going to extend these use cases actually uh, if you look at here client register and make purchase doesn't have much information but it is coming to check out you have several different options that need to be performed same way when you are talking about view item that also require different options that we'll see in the next slide okay yeah yeah see ya. if you look at here now view item use case i am extending it now okay i'm just elaborating it so if you look at here in the previous sorry uh if you look at it uh in the previous one view items uh Mm, what we exactly do have here is uh, uh, yeah in the previous slide what we have shown you that is just a abstract level top level now i am going to extend it so if you look at here view items generally have all this list of options like you know search item browse item view recommendations add shopping cart add to wish list 
okay all this comes under that and in then some are in excused uh, extend relationship some are used include relationship so if you look at your searching so when you talk about view item you may be searching an item you may be browsing an item or you may be viewing recommended items well these are items provided by that particular website based upon your previous searches now adding to the shopping cart that is also included in view item add to the wish list so all these things are included okay same way but whereas coming to this customer authentication is required that is related to view recommendation items and add to wish split why we have included only in these two is because these two requires authentication so but this authentication we are already doing in the beginning itself for these websites like you people are logging in right so so that you can directly when you click on that wish list or you're simply adding to the cart it can directly move into it so that is what represented using this but these two require authentication and that authentication we are actually doing it in the beginning itself by giving the, our username and password okay so that is what represented in this so this is related to your view item so if you look at it so view item here we have this is what top level view what we have shown a top level information what we are given now we have extended this same way when you come to checkout that also has some uh, internal things that we are representing here. yeah you can see your checkout so checkout generally includes customer authentication is required okay so here we have uh, three different options like you know user sign in remember me single sign on single sign on means individually you're signing it up or user uh, remember me is nothing but just a tick option we are providing that that will the web browser is going to save your username and password so even though it is saving it up still when you're signing in uh, the services will going to perform the authentication that is represented here next is identity provider as i told you that identity has to be taken care whether you are the same person who is logging it previously uh, how uh, i think you people heard about uh, artificial intelligence and based on that you know, these people even track the way you people are uh, browsing your different uh, websites okay so they will usually track how you people are uh, identifying viewing the items uh, which items you are searching it based on that they can identify that you may not be the same person because of, because of your personal previous searches previous interest and all those things okay so that is what actually requires this same way sorry and next comes your view or update shopping cart that is required so when you're checking out you might be updating the checking cart and you will be seeing the total same way it includes calculate taxes obviously so when the billing has been done you will be shown uh, different taxes and shipping charges whatever we have and coming to payment so payment if you look at it there are two things we have in here uh, something called payment by credit and payment by paypal okay so here credit card payment service has been used and here paypal is used paypal i think you can assume this is a, like an app okay right now right now we people can uh, pay the amount using phone pay google pay right so that they use this interface same way as credit card payment thing and next comes something called as uh, uh, merchant credit card processing okay so this is what uh, not related to that it is internal related to the transaction that takes place once you people are giving the username and password related to your credit card means for finally you have purchased the item you people are billing it up now so when you billing it up you are inserting a card you are typing some password right at the pos system so when point of sales as you are pressing the card after that interaction takes place between uh, the credit card uh, bank means the credit card belongs to which bank that bank and the merchant from which you people are buying that item so how this transaction takes place that is represented using here so if you, if you look at here we have something called authorize and capture authorize capture so this is individual both are actually included either you can do authorize and capture at a time or you can do authorize here same way followed with credit void and verify okay now if you look at here the customer credit bank is nothing but the one which the customer is using the credit card or uh, which bank is using like we have icici we have uh, sbi those and merchant bank is nothing the one from whom you people are buying that item for example you're buying some mobile phone so definitely you will be buying from some particular retail store so that comes under this merchant and customer credit means you're paying by credit so maybe you're using icic credit card or sba credit card so that bank comes under here so how these operations are taking place this is what generally represented here it's very easy you can understand going go thing okay but nothing much to explain in this but this is the way actually these two are important the checkout and uh, view items you might have seen so first one is a top level and after that what we did we just elaborated that particular 
display use case view item and check out this is the way you people have to elaborate it and you have to represent it okay it's not that uh, if you represent only this particular diagram your task is completed you have to represent this and this too okay thank you in the next video we'll discuss about uh, other diagrams like activity and straight chart diagrams we do have and finally deployment diagram that we will be going through it thank you for this and if you have any problems uh, or doubts and is you can just ping me up okay thank you